Well, speaking of spirit of the game, what about trash talk in games, Matt? <laughs> what do you think about specifically board games? Yes. I am talking board games board because games. if we're talking sports, I still don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I normally I'm I don't know, like even in sports and anything, I'm I've always been more of the I, I like the classier guys who just uh, they speak with their actions and uh, they don't need all the other stuff. I, a lot of times it's uh, an intimidation thing anyways. Uh, you know, the loudest one barking is usually the most insecure. Uh, and, it, you know, they think a big head game is the way to do it. Um, but as far as board games, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of two ways with it. Um, if someone's doing it to to and they start seeing that, oh, you mad, bro it might get a little aggravating. I might threaten to choke you out from across the table, but, (laughs) but there's been times where I've played with people that I don't know. I think a lot of it is in the way you put it off. Like uh, there was a guy I played with uh, uh, my buddy, Steve there for a while. He loved the trash talk, but I don't know. He almost made it fun though. So, and what was he being funny about it? Oh yeah. No, no, no. He was totally being funny. That's what I'm saying. He wasn't getting all serious and mad about it. it. It was like, you know, oh, oh, I'm, oh, oh, we're just gonna be like that, huh? You know, kind of goofiness like that, <laughs> and and um, could always take it real well too. He he wasn't the kind that would just give it and couldn't take it. Yeah, he he wasn't being like, oh, oh man, you suck at this game really bad, right? Oh, you're playing blue. Yeah, <laughs> that was a magic joke. Yeah, so I and yeah, <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna go on that, but <laughs> you know, and but I I do I find it funny that a lot of times when guys do that uh say it is a competitive nature in a one-on-one kind of yeah, like a tournament style. setting or something yeah and and you got people doing it i, I always find yeah. that they do it to a point and then they they start to lose and you can just see that like all that cockiness like then the slump comes and it's they, al- they almost need to do it to get their adrenaline up because they're not really good at what they're doing in the first place right well and, and that's what i said the the most insecure tends to bark the loudest right. and and uh that they evidently they think they're going to rattle you, uh, which I mean, unfortunately that works on people. They get it does. They get shook up and it messes with them. And then they're you you see them guys that their hands are shaking and everything. And, and yeah, because they want to smack this guy in the face. Yeah, and you got to be able to control your emotions a little bit. I mean, uh, like I, <laughs> I I know I told you this story, but I, I remember playing the, a WoW minis tournament and there was a dude that wool lawyered the hell out of me. I mean, talking. Pulling stuff out that I never even heard of, you know, but evidently was in the rules. And, you know, grats to him. He read the rule book really good. Yeah. You flip your card over before starting. Exactly. And it was stuff. It was all procedural. Right. It's all procedural. Like step one, two, three, four, even though they don't matter what order those happen in. Yeah. He would call you out. Every every bit of what he called me on and called judges over on was procedural. And uh, unfortunately, he ended up beating me. I think we came down to town, but that was part of his plan was stalling. He he had a stall set or a stall um, makeup, and he just wanted to sit there and spend more time bringing judges over and everything. And he knew by just his turtle pretty much makeup that he would uh, outlast you and win. Uh, now, I, I know that's probably a little different than trash talk, but was he trash talking at the same time or always waiting for you to do something that he can call you out on? Uh Man, I almost took it like trash talk, but I guess the point of it was it took a lot for me to choke him out. <laughs> uh, but, and even after... Even this after is restrained, people. Yeah, and even <laughs> after we were done, it was like, you know, everybody sat there and straight, like, everyone in our immediate, you know, vicinity, like, turned and looked at me and was like, what was that? Yeah, that that's garbage. I mean, procedural stuff, like, I understand procedural because in War Machine, I always go back to that, but that's that the biggest game I play competitively. Right. And... Uh, there is a lot of procedural stuff in that, but for the most part, the community is way cooler. Yeah. The community is amazing. And there's a couple of things, like there's only a few things that you could skip. And really it's people are only going to ca- call you on a procedural stuff. Like the last turn of the game. Yeah. Like, Oh, he's going to kill me this turn. He needs to be, you know, on point. Right. And I feel like, like in games like magic or, or, or some more well populated uh, environments of uh, competitiveness. Right. That I feel like people, there's more people out there trying to trash talk you to get you off your game. These aren't mind games, people. Right. We're not playing like di- diplomacy. We're not doing some kind of political thing. We're playing a board game or a card game or a miniatures game that 
you know, if I was talking crap and splendor, that would or a chess, you know, that's a, a good point. You don't ever watch chess tournaments. We could probably stop there with that statement, but uh, <laughs> you, you probably never watch a chess tournament where they're actually, you know, being like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you would move that pawn, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, of course you're moving the queen. You're just terrible at this game. No. That's all you're going to move. Yeah. So you don't see that's crap because it's a, it's it's the spirit of the game. Yeah. <laughs> that is, this is this episode. Yeah. Spirit of the game, people. Yeah. And um, I had a thought. Go ahead. Continue. I don't five in my head. I know it will. I'm just going to get more annoyed <laughs> at these people. Like, I don't know. I just... I, there's probably not much else to talk about because it is pretty. This could probably be another oh, BG I, OMG. But all right, sorry. I know what it was. The big difference on why are you moving? Your, like, <laughs> let's go to War Machine. Oh, you're going to move your dudes there? That's dumb. You know, you know I'm just going to take yeah. you out. It, it's different than that. Or like I said, my buddy, say you roll the dice and you got a bad roll. Oh, man, your dudes just fell down and stabbed themselves. <laughs> you know, it's. It, that's friendly banter though that's th- like friendly trash talking it, i wouldn't even consider that friendly trash talk i just feel like he's being a comedian right exactly uh, so like for both of you i mean the, the funny thing though is some people could take that and get upset by it true but i mean would he do that to people that that he's never played games with oh yeah oh well <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 i you, mean i don't know if, if he was saying stuff like that like you, oh he just rolled a one. Oh man you just botched that he fell a sword he, yeah oh, now he's his buddy yeah you know, he tried to swing at him but he couldn't because he was in love yeah stuff like i mean you gotta know this guy's being hilarious right exactly but at the same time i guess in a competitive environment especially like a, a tournament that could be considered like the same as trash talk or in stuff like that because you are trying to play a mental game or you could, the other person could say that. Yeah. He's trying to play a mental game and make me laugh and forget what I'm doing and things like that. Right. But I don't think games, I mean, the game games do need to be somewhat social. You need to be able to sit there and talk to the people at the table. And oh, be definitely. Like, oh, this is fun. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. yeah. Happy t- times. And, but I don't feel like you should be frustrated because of people saying things. So if, if you're a trash talker and the other person is getting upset, even in the slightest, just cut it out. Right. Because it's probably not a game that you should be trash talking in. And it really just depends on the environment of your gaming group. Pretty much. Yeah. So, and then we've seen what happens when trash talk happens in sports. People get stabbed and died and all that other things. Yeah. So that was great grammar. It happens. Yeah. It's just a little stabbing. No big deal. 